Hello everyone, this is Minoxen bringing you another high definition commentary of Heroes of New Earth. I apologize guys, it has been a long time uh, since I've commentated on a, a match here. It's, it's almost been a, actually has been a month. I've been kidding myself. Uh, I didn't actually, honestly, I didn't think it was a month. Um, I'd been playing some other games, uh, mostly just uh, an online MMORPG. Gotta love saying that. Uh, that's Lotro, is what I've been playing. Lord of the Rings Online. I play on Duero Delph, so you guys can, if you guys play on there for whatever reason, go ahead and give me a shout. Um, my character name isn't Minoxen, but if you leave yours in the comments below, maybe we can hook up, say hey. Maybe I can make you some, I don't know, something wood. I'm a, a crafter, but... Anyways, enough Lotro. Uh, this is Han, and this does have Maraxis in it, this matchup. I didn't look at the stats or anything, although this is my second take at this, because the first time I was recording in 1080p, uh, I didn't get very far, though, so thankfully I caught myself. Because the file size is extremely large when I record in full 1080. But, yeah, we've got Papa Dreich in here. Uh, plenty of higher PSR folks. This was rec to me, recommended to me by Disciple Hansu. Uh, I believe that's how you say it, buddy. Um, not exactly sure, but I believe so. But yeah, this is going to be my first match with Maraxis in it. So, and oh, and since, I guess since this was made, they have Maraxis and there's another hero, Myrmidon, right? I want to say that. You guys can't respond, but we'll go with that. But yeah, he's not in this match, but I have gotten to play with him, have not played as him, uh, same with Maraxis. So I have a little bit of base knowledge on this uh, new hero. I, I hear he's a little Emba, maybe. We'll have to see. But yeah, this match is about ready to get started, as it is single draft. The guys have three heroes to choose from each, and it looks like they have went with, on the Hellborn side, Tempest, Fade, Bubbles... Deadwood and Voodoo Jester, which on the Legion side we have Slither, Maraxis, Dr. Repulsor, Valkyrie, and Nymphora, as the announcer says there. So yeah, interesting lineups. Let's, let me get my camera work. Oh god, I'm going to be rusty at the camera. I didn't even think of that. But yeah, I've heard that uh, Maraxis is good for his initiation capabilities, just kind of like, you know, a pestilence. Uh, you've got Dr. Repulsor there, who's annoying, flies all over the place, he's probably going middle. Valkyrie's gonna be going top, with Slither and Nymphora as babysits, maybe? No, they're gonna split those two up. One of them's gonna go with Mar Maraxis, I would assume. And then, up here, we've got Deadwood gonna be going middle, he's gonna be facing off against Repulsor, most likely. That should be a good matchup. Fade? Uh, where would you want Fade? Tempest is probably gonna jungle at some point. Bubbles can solo. So, Fade and Voodoo Jester? Tempest? Potentially to jungle? No. Maybe they're just... I don't know. We will have to see here. As that vote passes to pause, and I am going to pause the recording, and we will... And we are back. Sorry about that, guys. I was having a little difficulty with my replay control. Oh! Yeah, let's do that. That'll work. Get some stats up there for you guys. Luckily, there's nothing really to pay too much attention to just yet, as we have Slither going up here, going to be throwing up a ward of sight. To get them a little bit of an advanced warning, if they are going to have some competition for this rune, which it looks like they are not just yet, anyways. I say that. Ah, now how do I get that off my mouse? Maybe if I click on him, it'll do it. Ah! Well, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I have Fade's items somehow stuck on my mouse. So we are just going to have to deal with this, I guess. I'm not sure what caused it, but. Oh, Repulsor is going to get this. I was going to say, he doesn't have a bottle, maybe they... We're going to allow someone else to get it, but he goes at Papa Drage using his other Ward of Sight to go ahead and block the Creep Pull here, which is going to be pretty darn helpful, considering that Deadwood ended up going top with Voodoo Jester, and we have Fade going middle. Not used to seeing that, I, I'm not sure how typical that is, but uh, it should be an interesting matchup against that... Uh, speaking of which, where is everybody? <laughs> The Ward of Revelation going down from Voodoo Jester there as he's taken some harassment from Valkyrie. Was hoping to be able to get this uh, Ward of Sight taken care of here. I don't think he's quite in range. I think he was trying to get this Ward of Sight here uh, that's blocking the creep spawn and the other one maybe. Uh, is he going to be able to? No, he is not. So that was a little bit of a fail placement there, but a good effort. And how we got... Uh, what's going on here middle? We have... Dr. Repulsor currently sitting 
at two and zero versus Fade, who is three and two. So Fade winning just a little bit here early to begin with. Little action going on here and there. As ooh, Bubbles actually taking quite a bit of rest. Bottom. Oh, pardon me. Uh, taking some harass there. As Maraxis looks strangely naked. Uh, hmm. Maybe it's his moves that when he levels up those, uh, he gets more and more armored and tanky looking. Actually, I think when he gets a shield, he actually starts wearing it around. That might be why he looks bizarre to me right now. So I apologize for my noobness. Well, we do have Deadwood coming in here. He's going to try... Oh, that was... I don't know why you decided to throw the root there. I would have thought you would have wanted to have tossed it on the escape route. Uh, even though it's, you know, it's not an escape route. It's more of a trap route, really. Rotten Grasp. Could not remember the name of it, so I decided to make a fun play on words. <laughs> but we have uh, the Rotten Grasp there missing, and looks like Valkyrie and Slither are still in pretty good position here. They'll have to watch for the incoming route, and uh, Voodoo Jester has gone to, you know, the Acid Cocktail and Heal there, so he will be backing up that Deadwood quite well. As... Oh, yeah, we had a Tower Dive go down for that. I saw Nymphora's life dropping. Actually, I wasn't even watching the Hellborn side. Apologize for missing that, but they did manage to take down uh, good old Bubbles down there. Took down him, and Fade picking up the Illusion Room. Nice creep pull going on. But yeah, uh, okay, let's... I'm sorry, my mind is spacing off. Let's actually take and just glance at some people's... What is that, V? Yeah, V is how you do that. Oh, looked like, yeah, I was going to say, it looked like she was winding up for an arrow, and I stupidly clicked away. But what do we have going on across the map? Not much. Not much at all, really. Ooh, never mind, we got action, we got action, here it comes. Oh, Papa Drench, no, and he can't retreat. Unfortunately, though, is going to go down. A valiant effort, though. <clears throat> he did go ahead and try and stand here to, uh to prevent himself from walking into the root. I mean, that would have just killed him all the faster. He was maybe hoping they made a mistake, or were going to make a mistake and let him get away, but unfortunately that is not the case, as they have... Oh, God, how do I get this off my mouse? Oh, yeah, I have my camera settings, or I think I have my camera settings where it doesn't show the mouse, so you guys don't have to deal with this. But that new little feature where you can see the heroes... Oh... It's when you do it over the mini-map that you get this little thing on your clicker. It's driving me crazy. Sorry, I'll get back to the action. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, what do we have going on here? Looks like Nymphora and Maraxis are still rocking it out bottom. Bubbles not in the best of shape as he is level 2 versus this Maraxis and Nymphora combination who is currently level 4 and level 3. So they are definitely beating him out on the experience aspect of it. Um, I can only assume, let's see, 3 and 3 and 17 and 10. So Marax is getting the majority of the farm down there. Bubbles only 3 and 1. So Bubbles having a miserable time down there. Just trying to get anything that he can. It's not going real good for him. Uh, Dr. Repulsor and Fade actually pretty even as far as experience goes. Gonna have to see how that pans out here, as Fade is gonna make it down here. Before Dr. Repulsor, ooh, almost. Ended up getting it uh, lost to, oh, and she's gonna go down here, I would wager. Gonna wager. No, I don't wanna lose my money. Oh, and with 30 HP, I lose my money. So that that's very unfortunate. But uh, yeah, I guess he did get the, <laughs> the haste rune. Picked that up, managed to save his own life with it. As Tempest is doing the jungling, as I so foresaw with my awesome Han skills. Papa Drayich taking on top here, still with Valkyrie. Doing A-OK. -okay. Not uh, not doing too too bad, really. Against this Deadwood and Voodoo Jester. Voodoo Jester. There we go! There's a Water Sight that'll get you, or Water Revelation that'll get, you, get rid of that. I mean, it's five minutes into the game, so it was about ready to disappear anyways, but... You know, teach their own. As uh, Dr. Repulsor does finally go down to fade here. And I guess that makes it uh, 1 to 3 now. And uh, not even really sure where all these other hero kills came from. <laughs> I was not paying that close of attention. Uh, Deadwood has a kill, and fade has 2. So, did Dr. Repulsor die twice already? Man, my attention 
is just so down right now. But yeah, a valiant effort they tried up there. They were going to try and do a little bit of extra damage onto that combo. And Dr. Reforza coming in here, kind of deciding to duke it out with Fade. I don't really know how wise that is. Fade was, uh, by most appearances, winning the battle. As now Tempest shows up in the nick of time, grabbing the haste there. So he's going to be able to show up and finish the job. Oh, nope, he does go ahead and let Fade get that. As we got a little bit of divide and conquer methodology going on here. Uh, Slither, Papa Drayich, they're going off onto Voodoo Jester when he possibly could have been helping out on Deadwood. Is Deadwood going to... No, he does not go down to the poison. Drops all the way down to 43 HP, but now he's well on his way to healing back up with the mo with the health pot going. Tempest running out with his haste, still going to throw out a quick little stun onto that Slither. Nothing really to follow, as uh, the Hellborn's in really bad shape. And oh, I guess that that was actually kind of a really bad idea, because Tempest gave them a false sense of hope. And uh, they're like, all right, we got Tempest, let's do this. And they all go running out, and unfortunately they're like half health, and Tempest was like, dudes, I just wanted to go out there and throw a tomato in his face, that's it. I just wanted to go out there and make fun of him and leave. And then, uh, yep. So, now Deadwood. Not looking good here, buddy. You're not going to be able to dodge. Uh, oh, he does manage to dodge. <laughs> He manages to die, is what I was going to say there, I guess. As he did manage to go ahead and dodge that. Uh, Fade, actually up here trying to help. Dr. Repulsor maybe going to go down. Fade trying to run ahead to get the advantage is going to be enough to go ahead and take down Dr. Repulsor. So, nicely done. Uh, Ward of Sight here being placed by St Stinfec... I, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that for, for our younger viewers. Just in case I mispronounce somehow. But, wow, we are eight minutes into this game. Experience lead and gold lead minorly in favor of the Hellborn thus far. Courier going out with something on it. Oh, power supply, that's boring. Boo. As, oh, a little action going on in Slither. He is saved by the wonderful Valkyrie, and now they are going to turn this around on Valkyrie. The stun coming out from Voodoo Jester, though. Going to be enough, is it? Slither's gonna go down, but it looks like Fade might as well. Oh, she does get the stun off at the last second. And will she tick down to the poison is the question. No, she will not. Very nicely done. Oh, but she may go down to Repulsor anyways. Nope. As wow, that is one gutsy, ballsy Fade there. Just running around with no HP whatsoever. And <laughs> Dr. Repulsor deciding to finally investigate. He's like, was that a fade I saw? I think I smell... Does that smell like fade? But no, I guess. So close, but so far. And with my godlike vision, of course I get to see everything. So unfortunately, he did not see the escaping fade. But he is going to go in on this vulnerable Tempest. And he is going to do a lot of damage here. Don't think he's going to be able to get the kill. Since, yes, the stun came off. Oh, a beautiful dodge. A nice arrow. That was That was about as good as it gets. As the Root comes in here, and he finishes off Dr. Repulsor with the Deadwood Paunch. Uh, taking him down very quickly. Willowmaker. He got turned into into tree branches. Apparently. Since it makes willows. I don't know where I was going with that. Slither going to be coming up here. I don't know how wise this is. Tempest is healed a little bit more now. Does he have wards? No. Nope. He was just hoping for an opportunity. Which is not going to happen, so he is getting the heck out of dodge. He's going to go up here and hop back into lane. So right now we are seeing still that little bit of an early advantage. Oh my goodness, they spotted him. He is one dead, poor little slither. Ouch. Again, he did dodge the um, deadwood root, but unfortunately his escape route was so limited, there's no way he was getting out of there. As, wow, Maraxis and them taking down Bubbles yet again, and Nymphora getting the kill when it looked like... Okay, what are we looking at? Yeah, it looked like they were trying to get Maraxis farm, but apparently they just don't care whether he gets the kills or not. And Deadwood gonna go down to Dr. Repulse. Oh! <laughs> not gonna go down to Dr. Repulse. He's out of mana. He's not gonna get out of there. Goes down to the Fade Ultimate and stun. Very nicely done. Good combination there. A little bit of the inadvertent baiting, I guess, going on from Deadwood. As Maraxis, now looking tanky like I remember. I thought he looked like he was a little naked there to begin with. I, again, haven't played with Maraxis all that much, so I'm not used to what he really looks like. 
Um, how is Moraxis doing all in all? He is, let's follow this guy. He is currently, I can't even find the, his little icon, I'm not used to looking for that. He's 0-0 zero, zero, and 3 assists, so Nymphor has been getting all the kills down here. It's at 315 gold per minute. Oh, is he going to get caught in the Deadwood Root? Oh, he's going to have everything go off on him here. No way he's getting out of that. Very unfortunate. Nymphora was off doing her own thing. Nowhere, anywhere near to be able to help him. But yeah, he was doing okay. Um, not doing so well right now. I think he's going to have a headache. headache. But uh, I think that that, uh, that punch can, you know, that, that'll that do that to people. And... We got Bubbles down here. Poor Bubbles. Bubbles actually doing a lot better now. Uh, he had a really hard time here early as Voodoo Jester goes down top to Valkyrie. Sorry, I missed that. Oops. Do not disturb. Guys, I'm busy. Told you not to come in my room. <laughs> Sorry. Um, let's go for some items, shall we? It is 12 minutes into the game, so we will do that. Slither not really sitting on much besides a bunch of minor totems. Oh, actually, let's look at Miraxis here, see what he's up to. What you doing, buddy? Just whacking on some bubbles? Popping bubbles, as it were? As... Oh, my goodness. Get out of there, man. Get out of there. Oh. Yep, I don't think that's going to happen. Very unlikely. Oh, as Dr. Repulsor goes down elsewhere, but I am just glued to this Moraxis. Is he going to survive? My wager is now no, as the taunt comes off. Yes, he does get the kill and the smackdown to follow. As we have Nymphora being taken down by Fade. Yes, she goes down. Champion of New Earth. Where the hell did she come from? As, yeah, 9-0. and oh. So we are looking at a Fade who is well on her way to becoming an immortal. I, I think that Immortal is in this one, in this version. Yeah, it's got to be. I'm pretty sure it is. If Moraxis is here, I'd assume so. As Repulsor are coming down to catch this Bubbles, Bubbles now out of mana. Very, very bad situation. Is he going to be able to make it? No, not going to make it. Tempest of... Uh, yeah, he, he was trying to get out there, but uh, unfortunately it didn't look like he was going to be able to make it anywhere near time. Tempest, get out of there, buddy. Get out of there, buddy. Oh, you're slowed. Oh, you're slowed twice. Slowed three times. And here's backup. Oh, for the other team. <laughs> for both teams, actually, as Tempest May doesn't go down. And now this is all breaking loose here. We got Fade trying to do some DPS. A nice Voodoo Jester ultimate doing a lot of damage there. Dr. Repulse are going to take down Voodoo Jester with a combination. Diedwood. Diedwood. Sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Go, get out now. Go, Deadwood, go. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up. As uh, apparently Deadwood did not get out of there, no matter how much Arnold wanted him to make it. As yeah, that was that was chaotic as all get out there. As Doctor Repulse are gonna go down to this bubbles. Oh, you guys are making me liars. So hardcore, man. Thirteen HP. Seriously, guys. Thirteen HP. Wow. Yeah, no doubt, Deadwood. Close call, Mr. Doc. I don't, I don't know why Maraxis would sound like that. He sounds a little more beefy as far as that. But Oh, well. Tempest now making a push top. Going to be able to maybe take down this defensive tower. His critters have all split. If he focuses them... Oh, in the defense at the last second of 30 HP. Is he still going to be able to get it because they are chasing him down? Oh, unfortunately, the Hellborn got the tower. And the question will be, is he going to be able to escape from this? The answer, most assuredly, is no. As, yes, he does go down there. We had, uh, who went down for them? Maraxis going down bottom. As they are trying to make their own tower, uh, trying to take down their own tower in exchange, I should say. But we got the heal pot going off now for Slither. I didn't finish my items. I apologize, guys. Uh, steam boots on him. Let's try and just touch on people while I get some action here, actually. Deadwood coming in there, kind of a bad situation. Was hoping to be able to get a kill. Unfortunately got stuck there, got stunned, got wrung out. And yeah. So. Oh, and it looks like Marisus is going to get the deny. Oh, bubbles. Silly bubbles. Was it really worth it? 
Of course not now. I mean, if you got the kill, maybe, but... Very unfortunate. So, wow. Yep, we're f 16 minutes into the game. A nicely done arrow! Oh, beautiful. Tempest tried to dodge there at the last second. Not going to be enough, though. Five seconds. He's not really taking too much damage thus far. As, yeah, he may go ahead and go down. He does tick down to poison, but... N oh, wow. That was a nice ultimate. He made a lot out of that. There was not really much he could do there, but that ultimate was absolutely beautiful, and they picked up three kills with it. So, very, very well done by Mr. Tempest, who is played by... Oh, the guy I can't say. I was going to give you some props, dude, but whenever you pick a name that I cannot pronounce, Stin Feckett. Stin Feckett. We will, we will go with that. So, Mr. Stin Feckett, if I'm mispronouncing it, or if I'm saying something that I don't realize I'm saying, then I'm sorry. But, can I touch on this game? Oh, wow, I'm so easily distracted. Oh, boy, Codex on Fade. Codex Fade. She wants kills, and she wants them now. As Bubbles and Dr. Repulsor are duking it out, Dr. Repulsor are going to have to back out of here. He does go ahead and use the ultimate. <laughs> Lands in the lap of some Command Wolves. As, oh, regeneration. Nicely done. So he's going to be coming back into this fight full bore. As he just jets in there, he's got his regeneration going, so he can manage to do that. He, he don't give a dern. Fade here. Invis, though, waiting for that perfect opportunity. Not wise, though. There is a whole lot of people here. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Oh, yep. Didn't think that was... Well, never mind. I'll shut up. I mean, they got two kills. Looks like neither of them are going to die just yet. As we do have Bubbles and Tippus show up on the scene. Maraxis not going to be able to dodge. The uh, rotten grasp. I was gonna say deadwood grasp. Nymphora maybe gonna be joining him. So wow, yeah. Let's just call this the "Eat My Own Words" cast because apparently these guys are like listening to me right now and they're like, "Dude, dude, just, just don't die. You know, let him live, just so we'll prove Minoxen wrong. He's such a noob. I hate that guy." But yeah, uh, it's not my my most impressive cast so far, but uh, it's good to be back. <laughs> Definitely good to be back. So I wish that Smock had been able to have joined me, gotten me warmed back up into the swing of things. As I have seen that she's been doing some casts for Han replays there, doing some good work for them. Gotta appreciate that. As let's touch on gold per minutes, as I haven't really done that so far. Uh, Marax is sitting at the 250 gold per minute mark. Followed, or well, actually led a little bit by Yellow, who is that Valkyrie, uh, who's just a little bit ahead. Lots of action going on here. Slither getting caught. Oh, he stops just before the, the Rotten Grasp, actually. Just in Papa Dreyich fashion, fashion, as he has proven all game long that he can do that. Oh, dodge the axes, dodge the axes. Oh, not going to be able to dodge the axe. As, aw, oh, yep. Not good for Mr. Bubbles. Not good at all. Sorry, Mr. Bubbles. So, wow, just a really good back-and-forth game so far as, yeah, I mean, Papa Drage has shown some really great reaction time and response, at, at least on the, uh, you know, the, uh, wow, did Nymphora just port them in there? Is that how they ended up right behind them like that? Wow. That was actually a very, very foolish uh, spot to jump in, but... Whatever works, I suppose. Oh! 50 HP on Maraxis, and Fade smells blood. She is not going to give up until it is far too late. And unfortunately, uh, does go down there. Tempest was following for just a little bit as... Oh! Another excellently ex executed... That's hard to say. Excellently executed arrow from Valkyrie. She did get the five-second arrow off. And, uh, wow, kudos. Kudos, man. That was that was actually really nice. So, wow, Hellborn still leading just by a little bit. I mean, it's, it's a crazy back-and-forth trade-off game. Uh, 1,800 experience uh, in favor of the Hellborn, and 1,600, or 1600 gold after that tower kill. Uh, a advantage for the, the Hellborn. And that gold lead may go back up. Yes, it does. As it goes to... 3,100 with the middle tower going down. But still, 3,100. I mean, really? So. Oh my god, I need to click on items. Portal key on Deadwood, if I did not already see that in the action or make note of it. 
So be sure to watch for that as Deadwood does have a bottle, does have his portal key. Who is he going to jump on here? Is he going to try and one one hit punch uh, someone? Nymphora maybe? Oh, a nice Tempest ult. Oh, unfortunately Nymphora just on the edge of it. Uh, Dr. Repulsar going down to the Deadwood punch. And looks like Valkyrie, you're going to die. So, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Oh, maybe not good. Not for Deadwood. Deadwood, get out of there, buddy. They said they don't want any. Nice. <laughs> nice juke there from uh, Deadwood using his ability. As Papa Dreich, the Lone Star out here, he's just going to be, he's like as big as Texas. It's like, what? You going to run down my friend? I'll show you. I'm going to poison spray you, and you're still going to live by a large margin. It's cool, though. It's cool. I, I don't care. I don't play to win. I play for fun, guy. <laughs> I hate that. I actually, the only reason I say that is because I had someone uh, the other day when we were playing 2v2s. I hate the new map, by the way. Absolutely hate it. Don't know how you guys feel on it. But Dota 2.0. Or, no, not Dota. Uh, oh, my God. Han 2.0. Sorry. Sorry, Han fans. Uh, but, yeah, Han 2.0, which is out as of this video. <laughs> I do not like the new map. I play 2v2 and I thought I would love a new 2v2 map, or 3v3 map in this case. Do not like it at all. It's just completely and totally gank fest and once you have a disadvantage it is very 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 hard to come back from. But yeah, so let me know what you guys think on the new map. The, I can't remember the name of it map, but it's the one that's the new 3v3 map in Han 2.0. Also, while we're talking about Han 2.0, what do you guys think of the new store feature? I think that the the expense, I think that it's too expensive. It's like what, 30 bucks for 1,800 points? That's like what I did the math. I think it's 64 points for a dollar. So it's like a 1.56 cents. Uh, yeah, I know I'm a math nerd, but I think it's like 1.56 cents per point. So yeah, yeah, it's like a penny and a half. Oh, and Valiant Effort on the arrow. Going to miss, though, unfortunately. As Codex level 3 on Fade. As, wow, Maraxxus doing a little bit of initiation. Jumps in there, gets on Tempest. Does get him finished before he's able to use his ultimate for... Oh, he didn't have his ultimate. Before he was able to do anything else. I guess they really didn't care too much. As is Deadwood going to get ran down here. One more X did it. And now we have the rundown on this Valkyrie. Right now it's two for two. The Hellborn needs to make something more out of this. They actually had a really good comeback from that initiation from Maraxxus as they're trying to pick up the kill onto Voodoo Jester. Voodoo Jester not going to go down, though. And Bubbles having to use his dodge to uh, to get out of there. So, wow. At the end of that, a two, ver two for two uh, exchange going out. Fade still running around with that Codex just waiting for somebody to blow up. As she's going to come in here and hop on this Maraxxus. Does so and misses her cast. Wow. Uh, duh. That was, that was, sorry, that, that noise that I just made, that's, that's what a facepalm sounds like. <laughs> I have done that a few times. Ah, oh, man, just, crap. <laughs> I hate missing skill shots. And it's not, that isn't even really that much of a skill shot. It's just a straight line effect, but... I won't, I won't uh, call him a bad player or anything, because as Nymphora going to be porting her and a friend. Looks like Papa Dreich is going to be joining in here. As Voodoo Jester needs to get out of there, buddy. You don't have very much mana. You need to get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah. As I'm cracking the whip at his back. Doesn't seem to really care, though. As Fade to the rescue. Actually, Fade to um, the horror of Slither. As Slither does manage to get everything off. Uh, doing some significant damage there. Nymphora getting caught by Deadwood. A bad attempt there from Nymphora to try and use that uh, little mobility to catch him a kill. And then they just got greedy. and Not going so well as the experience lead has increased to a 10,000 experience lead and an 8.5 grand gold lead. Which is, that's starting to get significant. We're starting to get a little more significant. It's 25 minutes into this game. The Hellborn is currently technically winning, I guess you could say, in most aspects. They do have more towers down. They have etc., etc. going for them. But what do we have? We have Gnome's Wisdom, 
on Slither. Maraxis. What do you get on Maraxis? Portal key, I would say, is pretty typical. Because from what I've heard, you use the blink for the initiation. And you've got your shield to help you keep from taking damage, etc. Uh, so, good initiation there. He's gotten his Helm of the Black Legion, just like kind of like a Pestilence... Well, I don't know if Pestilence builds get Helm of the Black Legion, because I've... I know in 2v2 I get it, but... I'm not gonna say build orders, because I sound like a noob. So, <laughs> Morax is going the uh, tank initiation here. As Fade, wow, you are so gutsy. So gutsy, coming out here half health. Uh, but she had backup. She knew she had backup, and she managed to take and get a kill with it. So, very nicely done. Who was I talking about? Oh yeah, Maraxis. So we saw his items. Let's show you this one. Dr. Repulsor just sitting on a blood chalice and boots and bottle. Wow, not really having that strong of a game. How you doing, Dr. Repulsor? Oof, 177 gold per minute. Not where Dr. Repulsor wants and or needs to be. But uh, 318 gold on Maraxis and 261 gold per minute on the Valkyrie, so wow, yeah, this is a really underfarmed Legion team here. They don't... Uh, I don't know. I can't really say that they don't have the end game, because neither team really has a solid hard carry. I mean, Fade is cheap as hell, but, you know, she kind of plateaus out, at least in most circumstances. She can be a good semi-carry. Deadwood is really cool because of his ultimate. But given where we are right now, 27 minutes into this game... I'm going to put money down on it, and I know it's like wrestling. It's like, you know, whoever's winning in the first half of the match is bound to lose in the latter half. It's just, you know, any, anybody watch pro wrestling out there? <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I used to do that, and I, I had figured it out. Whoever was losing in the beginning of the match, they would somehow miraculously come back and keep, kick the crap out of the other guy. It didn't matter if they had friends show up or what, but they somehow won. As, oh, the dust coming out onto Fade. She's not going to be able to get out of here, or is she just going to stick around for a kill? Actually, does Tedwood have... Okay, no, I heard the Codex go off. No, I didn't see the Codex go off, I guess. I thought I heard it. Maybe it started to. But uh, now Fade's stalking this Dr. Repulsor. Going to go in on him, too. <laughs> oh, my God, that freaking Codex. Codex level 5. Wow. Wowzers as they say. Uh, arrow not going to hit anyone, so... Yep, experience lead now up to the 17,000, so yep, my money placed on the Hellborn is money well invested so far, as it looks like this could be GG for the Legion. We're gonna, we're not going to stop watching, though, guys. Relax, relax, as uh, Warp Clef picked up onto Maraxis, and I'm assuming he's going to go Demonic Breastplate, as that would be my guess because I can see that being very useful. Valkyrie, what do you have? You're the second best farm on their team. Frostburn. Frostburn. Probably going to divide that up and go ahead and go into a Geometer's Bane and a Frostwolf. Do they still do that, guys? Because, you know, being gone a month, all kinds of hell can break loose and everything can change. As they do see Deadwood. What's going on, buddy? Oh, you weaken these creeps for us. That's so sweet. You know, it's close to Christmas and all. Figured that was that was just really sweet of you. Oh, nice. Bubble snipe two of the kills. I was like, wait a minute. I had, to, I had that little process in my brain as I was like, wait a minute. Light blue icon. That is not their team. As Dr. Repulsor goes down again to the... Oh, to the Fade who catches an arrow in the face. Right in the face. And she is going to go down here. Wow, didn't even get a chance to move. So, Vengeance was served. I don't know if it was served warm or cold, but it looked like it was pretty cold-hearted, as they all did gank up on him. Nymphora, running around with some wards. Gonna be... Are you gonna place those, or are you just toting them around, showing off? Look, dudes, I bought wards. I'm cool. Tempest has his portal key. Probably had it for a while. Sorry, I haven't checked on him sooner. Shrunken Head pick up on him as well, which is gonna give him a nice opportunity here. Is he gonna be able to get an ultimate off for this? Uh, everyone's not really here, though, so I guess it would be kind of a bad time to ultimate. Are they going to get the deny on this? No, I can't tell whether they denied it or not. It said Legion destroyed it, so yeah, I'm guessing that they didn't get the deny. As Deadwood throwing his root, unfortunately, in the wrong direction. Marax is coming down for the save. Oh, a nice slow coming off from... <laughs> Doesn't matter. So what if I'm slowed? I can still stun you guys from a mile away. 
and you have nowhere you can do or nowhere you can go or anything you can do about it. Wow, Dr. Repulsor like showed up and like blew up Tempest there as he just showed up on the scene. Oh wow, Marax is showing up. Voodoo Jester is the only one alive for the Hellborn. He goes down, and a 17, almost 18,000 experience lead has been smashed to pieces as the Legion comes back to almost uh, 8,000 experience gap. Very well done, guys, as that was a 2 for 5. They went, they had a genocide there. Fade bought back very quickly, but or I think she bought back or she just rezzed. Something. But yeah, very well done there from the Legion team, having a good coordination to get together there and pick off those guys. I mean, they... They were basically getting chased that entire time. A little sloppy, I gotta say, from uh, the the Hellborn here in this middle. I don't know why I'm showing you guys on camera. It's because I'm reliving it in my head. But we've got Fade trying to take down Maraxis. Does get his shield up, uh, and he, yes, he does manage to get out of there. The Codex was not able to go off. Uh, did not want to burn it on that little. Essentially, it's like a, a null stone, really. I think, at least as far as I understand, it will absorb them, uh, absorb a spell, or it, it doesn't make them spell immune, I think it just absorbs a spell, so. If you cast a spell that is targetable onto Maraxis, while he has that shield up, it will absorb it as though it were a null stone. And you guys can tell me if I am wrong and down in the comments below. Okay, what was I on? Fade up! Oh, I switch away from Fade right as she gets jumped on. And she does use her ultimate to get away. So sneaky, that fade. Oh my god, wow! She took down Slither 1, 2, 3 punch. As now Dr. Repulsor's like, sweet, she doesn't have a codex right now. I can totally kill her. Uh, she's got backup coming. I don't know if it's going to get here in time. No, it is not. As they, yep, they're like, you know what? There's three of them there. We, we don't need to do that. She was running and gunning on her own. She deserves what she got. So, yeah, that was a little foolhardy from her. She's got the god mode complex going. Of course, when you have, like, a freaking level 5 codex, uh, why why not? I mean, just have fun. Have fun. Go blow some people up. That's what Deadwood does. And speaking of Deadwood, let's look at Bubbles. <laughs> As he has his portal key. Uh, boots. Deadwood, what do you got, buddy? Phase boots, portal key, you're boring. And Striders. I, I don't know if this is the version with... Takes damage, casts a spell, or uses an item. No, I think this is the old version. I think in 2.0, they changed Striders to where when you get close to an enemy hero, it starts to reduce your speed. So, yeah, we'll just say this is like my patch note cast now. So, wh what do you guys think about the 2.0? Just just say whatever you think about 2.0 in, gen in general. You know, uh, about the new version, etc. Love it, hate it. Whatever, this isn't even a match from 2.0, it's just, it's on my mind, so just kind of curious what you guys think. As that was very, very close to hitting someone. And it hits the Voodoo Jester Illusion, but doesn't look like anyone's going to be biting onto that dry biscuit. So, they will unfortunately have no, no tasty fresh flesh there to eat. It's kind of an odd tongue twister. Tasty fresh flesh. Fle ah, see, I did it right the first time, then I goofed it up the second. So, wow, yeah, we are still in this game. The experience lead actually still continuing to drop for the Hellborn here. As I knew, I jinxed myself. I go and say the Hellborn's going to win, and then you know they go and do something to screw it up. And Tempest, that was... I got to give Tempest some credit. That was a beautiful ultimate, and luckily I was there while I was babbling, watching it, as they do go ahead and take down both heroes there. Voodoo Jester gets a nice ultimate off as well. Unfortunately, got stunned out of it. Oh, wow, that got turned around so quick. As now we have three Hellborn teammates down. And Fade going to be joining them very soon. Fade getting the Codex off onto Dr. Repulsor, but doesn't matter. Gonna go down. Tempest now in trouble. Another genocide. Is this gonna be another genocide? It has to be. No, it doesn't, because he had a portal key that came up all of a sudden. So, na 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 na. Or na 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 boo boo. Yeah, that's how it goes. So yeah, he gets out of there as, wow. Okay, um, so strategy. What do we need to do, guys, differently here? Because you guys are getting your butts kicked now, and I've put a bunch of money on this match with my viewers, and you just, you're not, you're not providing. So what do we got? We got Fade, who's running around, solo, running, gunning, 21 kills, 5 deaths, going off, doing her own thing, getting kills, having fun. 
Deadwood, what have you been up to, buddy? 12 and 9, so he's starting to slip. He's starting to die as much as he is kill. So that's when you need, really need to start thinking about your, your plan here. As, like I said, I don't know that either team necessarily has a way better end game, but you've got Moraxis for the nice initi uh, nice initi uh, oh my god initiation I don't know why I kept wanting to put a C in there uh, uh, as he does have his demonic breastplate finished now and the experience lead has been dropped completely it is now basically balanced uh, gold lead basically almost the same oh sorry I guess the Chinese food I ate must be making me sleepy that was a yawn I'm not bored by this match whatsoever as Morax is going to charge in here. Get some moves off onto this Voodoo Jester that... Oh my god! Man, he took him down so fast. I thought he had double damage for a second, but I don't think he did. As they take... Oh, Dr. Repul where'd Dr. Repulsar go? Oh, fate. Nope, Deadwood. Deadwood got him. And Voodoo Jester went down, so yeah. Eh. Yeah, I don't know. As... Whoa! Slither got blued up. And someone died down here, too. I think. Or that was just a ping. No, that was just a ping. So, two down for the Legion so far. Is Maraxis going to go down? He is caught behind enemy lines. Uh, the shrunken head on Tempest, though, saving him from the potential of being stunned. Not anymore, though. As now Tempest is going to go down. Bubbles, maybe, to follow. Yes, he is. He goes down there, and wow. I just got to say that this is just... It's sad to me because they're just. Uh, I think that the the Hellborn have had this game and they're just now giving giving it back a little bit by bit. They're letting these uh, letting these guys get these kills. They're you know giving them the opportunity, and they're taking advantage of it. You need to get your main damage dealers like Fade and Deadwood, and get them into a fight. Pick off people with them. Um, I mean, they do so much damage since he has that codex that's so high leveled by now. Yeah, it's still level five. Well, that's because he hasn't been, you know, getting many many kills in comparisons to deaths. But uh, let's look at gold per minute. 386 gold per minute on that Maraxis. Uh, so yeah, he's doing well for himself. Has been continuing to increase that farm all game. Uh, Valkyrie sitting basically where she was before, uh, as far as farm goes. Oh, and she has picked up a Slayer. So, gonna be doing something a little different this game, it looks like. Picking up the Slayer there. Dr. Repulsor, not really rocking out too much new. Maybe going for a Shrunken Head, since he does have the Axe there. Moraxis, I've already talked about you, go away. And Moraxis, also, something to note, Moraxis, oh, let me click on him, does have a Bound Eye. So he will be able to see that Fade. So Fade cannot rely on her invisibility anymore, and if I... If I remember right, it was like that before. And a nice Tempest ultimate going out there. Does catch quite a few players. And this is exactly what you needed to do. You needed to get that good initiation. They have so many portal keys. Why not use them? And they got it. They picked off two players. They've gotten Slither out of the picture. They've gotten Dr. Repulsor. Now they just need to be able to survive long enough here. Get Maybe, you know, pick up another kill or two if you want. I mean, that's cool with me. I'm not, I'm not picky. But then make something of it, guys. You got to push. You got to do something. As, I mean, they have the Javelin Face, what's her name, and uh, Maraxis here. Maraxis is going to be a hard one to fight against because, you know, that's just going to be, you know, he'll be able to defend really well. But no, they say, let's go ahead and do Congor, and I agree with this. This is okay. I'm not upset with this at all. They'll get this Congor kill, and they will probably put it on Fade since she's got a space. Deadwood does too, but I think Fade might be the wiser choice to do. Not sure exactly 100%, you know why I might say that, but yeah, I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to say Fade. Fade needs to get it. So get it on to Fade. That way you get that extra life. She can go all balls to the walls crazy like she loves to do. Uh, the Legion is onto them, though. And the question is, are they going to be crazy and jump in there at the last second and try and get this? No, they are not going to be able to get the opportunity as Moraxis is forced to turn around as they do go ahead and get Congor. And Fade picked up the... Not Aegis, the thingy here, token of life, does pick that up, and that will give them a good opportunity this next big team fight to be able to uh, pick up on a kill, uh, pick up on advantage, I should say, since they will have two lives. And oh, Doctor Repulsor, not where you want to be out of mana. 
not where you want to be at all, as yes, he does go down there. That was rather foolhardy of him. Very, very not good for his team right now. As, uh, oh, Maraxis, though, showing his metal here. Beating the hell out of Fade. A nicely thrown axe as well. Uh, just landed short of actually hitting her, though, I believe. And Maraxis now a little overconfident. Does get his shield up, manages to block the cask, and is going to get the kill on Voodoo Jester in just a second. No, he doesn't, but it's still gotten by Valkyrie there. That's what's important. As Nymphora ports in, throwing up the volatile pod, getting the heal off. And now they have gone in Viz. Who are they going to find? Are they going to find anyone? Maraxis using his portal key to try and get someone, but no, not able to find him. So, yeah, I guess they did make something out of that. They had lost uh, Dr. Repulsor up there just a little bit earlier. They took down Voodoo Jester in the chaos and made something happen. So, uh, kudos to them as Papa Drage was caught out pushing middle. Does get the tower kill. Well, he doesn't, but the Legion does. But he goes down in the process. So, ah, I am just not sure right now, guys. I, I, I don't know if that was worth it. The experience lead's starting to get pushed back into the Legion or into the Hellborn's favor, and I mean that's good for my money, of course. But uh, as far as what the the Legion team needs to do here, um, they've been doing a good job of it. They've been doing the good team fights. They've been, you know, they uh, Slither wasn't even in that last team fight, and they they ended up getting a kill there. Slither or um, Doctor Repulsor, because Doctor Repulsor was already dead, and they still managed to pick off Voodoo Jester with all of the chaos that was around them. So they, they have a really good team presence, uh, uh, really good um, mentality here to do things together. As it looks like the majority of the other team is of some other clan that I'm not familiar with. ZUP. So yeah, ZUP it looks like uh, is the majority on the Hellborn side. And TSOG of course has Papa Dreich and uh, oh my god, uh, Hyde as well. Over there, Valkyrie gonna go down, pushed way too far out by herself. They they really need to get some vision out here if they're gonna be doing that. I mean, they have this here, and that gives them some, but there's just yeah, there's no reason to be that far forward uh, at all. So that was a little foolhardy on her part. As you know, as as foolish as the Hellborn was being before, Fade going out and killing and dying and Deadwood doing likewise. I think that the tides have kind of turned, and now the, the Legion has taken, you know, they're like, hey, you know what, we smashed their 18,000 experience lead back to zero, we actually got in the lead, now it's time to, um, you know, make some mistakes of our own, and uh, give the game back. So, uh, as kind as that is of them, I am a little concerned for them. But still, Valiant play throughout, as Papa Drejic pushing down another tower here uh, as the Hellborn is doing likewise but with uh, multiple heroes instead of just one as is this Slither going to come back here to try and help his team uh, doesn't even really look like they're gonna be able to mount too much of a defense they're all so desperately staying back they don't want to get portal keyed on and uh, taken down Papa Drejic taking some damage here on this tower is he gonna be able to get it I guess is the good question though as it looks like nobody wants to come in here Marax is jumping in at the last second does get these guys to go ahead and pop their shrunken heads, picking off Voodoo Jester in the process. Tempest Ultimate catching three people in it. Nicely done. They are going to go ahead and pick up Slither as he does come down here at the last second whenever some Defender showed up. Bubbles coming up here to defend. And they do manage to take down two of the, uh, the Hellborn pushers. And now Fade going to be joining them. Tempest maybe as well as Valkyrie. Oh, Fade actually having the token. I forgot about that. And apparently they did too. As she does pick up the kill onto Valkyrie. Well, no, she doesn't, but Hellborn does. Valkyrie goes down, and now it is Moraxis and Nymphora. Not a bad combination, but I, I just don't know if they're going to be able to stop this Fade and Tempest right now. As Moraxis still going crazy tank build here. Has his Frostfield plate. Doesn't really save you from that massive magic damage, buddy, though. As we got Codex level 5 still just blowing people up. As Maraxis maybe should have gotten some magic res. I mean, physical res is what you gotta think because of Deadwood, but just not enough. As I think we are nearing the end of our game here, as a genocide goes out right as Papa Dreich comes back in. 
Uh, the range barracks most likely going to go ahead and drop here. Uh, that doesn't have to be a good game. Uh, especially since it looks like Fade may go down. She does use her codex. Is she going to get the kill? She does get the kill. Takes down Dr. Repulsor. And Fade going to try and pour it out. Not going to make it, though. Good try. Uh, very unfortunate, though, that this range barracks is still alive. And that um, instead of going for the kill on Dr. Repulsor, I almost would have suggested... Or, uh, I'm not the expert by any means, but I would have probably preferred to have gotten the ranged barracks if I was going to die for it. So, yeah. But Fade looks like Fade bought back, so it doesn't really matter. And they are going to continue the push middle here as a ping comes out. They're going to take down this defense tower, so that way they'll have all of the uh, avenues of attack open to them. As my heater is keeping me a little too warm, so I'm turning that off right now. Sorry, guys. And speaking of which, also, I had to get a drink of water as uh, that five-second arrow just blew that warlock up. So, boom! Taking that poor little warlock down a peg or two as, uh, really? I mean, <sighs> come on, guys. They're just... Uh, they really need to focus on something here. Okay, they did get a pick off. Uh, never mind, I'll stop, I'll stop riding on you. They did get the pick off on Valkyrie. That's going to be really big. If they can keep everyone alive, which with Deadwood getting his butt kicked by friggin' Maraxis here. Good God. Uh, getting taken really low here. He's trying to run to his teammates. They're like, run here, buddy, run here. No. Does not make it. Are they going to be able to get a kill in exchange? It doesn't look like it. Tempest trying to come in here for an ultimate. Does get one off, but a really, really crappy one, really. Uh, I think I can say really a couple more times than that. Uh, he got it off. He got one of them. A second and four got sucked into it at the last second. Fade felt compelled to come and help, so she dies now because they failed. And Bubbles is probably going to be joining them. So, all in all, very very bad move there from the Hellborn. They had it going for him. They had Valkyrie picked off. Deadwood was off doing his own thing again said, you know what, hey, I'm, I'm a gank hero, I'm going to find someone in the woods here, I'm going to blow them up, and we're going to have a good time. But, unfortunately, whenever you have that mentality, and it is a team game, there are four other players on the map that need your help. And if they'd have had all of them, and uh, if they'd have had everyone, that I think that would have been a big, a big difference there uh, to that fight. But they didn't, so now the Legion gets a push, and Maraxis leading the way is going to do some major damage here before they get some big defenders up. They'll have Deadwood up since he was the first casualty of that war. But they are going to take and they're going to get this tower. I know they're going to get this tower and they may get something more uh, other than this. As the base defense is used, as Deadwood is now up, he's going to be running down here trying to pop a root off, I would guess, and see if he can get this uh, slither. Oh, nicely done there. Does go ahead and pick up the kill onto Papa Dredge. That's poor little Slither. But the tower does go down to the Slither Wards. And he is forced to back up. But now they have to mount the defense here. They have to save these Raxes. Otherwise, it's going to be balanced out with what's going on in the bottom. Marax is throwing out the Frostfield Plate using the special ability. But wow, yeah, this is just, it's not going real good here for the Hellborn. They need to, they need to focus. They need to stop dicking around and uh, make this game end here. As Marax is getting really beefy, has the Axe of the Malphi to join up with his other stuff. What do we have? Slither, you're not really getting much else. I shouldn't even bother. Dr. Repulsor, how's your farm, buddy? How you doing? 2 211. Not, not good for uh, for uh, Dr. Repulsor, for sure. As uh, Valkyrie going ahead and getting the Frostburn Savage Mace right off the bat there, instead of going with Geo or anything else. I'm not sure if that's the most popular um, selection, but hey, it's a member of uh, TSOG, so I won't argue too much. As an M4, I getting caught out, uh, ultimately acting as bait, as fade. Oh my god, guys, you're, you're giving me a migraine. You're throwing away my money. Uh, this, just, yeah. I know that they're having fun, by running around and getting kills because obviously that's the most amazing, fun, hilarious thing to do whenever you show up, find someone doing woods, attack them, and then blow them up. Uh, but 
Wow. Yeah, you gotta if if it's this close right now because it's only a four thousand experience lead and four thousand gold lead, and it keeps changing hands back and forth. You really need to go ahead and keep this going. You need to you need to end it. And uh, I don't think that they're trying hard enough. I don't think that they're really wanting to end it. They're having too much fun, and that's gonna cost them. I mean, they've got sixty four kills to forty eight, but none of that really matters when uh, you end up losing the game. At least in my mind, uh, it still counts towards your stats, I suppose, so that could be what they're going for. But top being pushed rather heavily here. Or not top, middle. I'm thinking the top half of the map. As, oh, I heard a portal key. What happened? As uh, Tempest, oh, nicely done there. Beautiful Tempest ultimate catching three heroes in it. Uh, gonna be doing some major damage as the Voodoo Jester ultimate gets interrupted. Bubble's gonna go down to Maraxis. Two heroes for the Hellborn down now. Is it gonna be three? Yes, it is. And this is going to be the GG. I can almost guarantee it. The Hellborn had their opportunity. They had this game in the bag. And, I mean, you guys can disagree with me if you want. Post it in the comments. Say if I'm wrong or not, but... Uh, yeah, I think that the Hellborn had this and they threw it away. Um, wow. Annihilation for Valkyrie. As, yes, I do believe we are going to have uh, a GG here. So, well played to all players. Um, Hellborn, I would have loved to have seen a little bit more from you than just running around killing people. We all know it's fun, but if you want to win a game, got to do something different. Especially when you don't have like a solid hard carry that can just, you know, dominate. And apparently Moraxis has some crazy ass tanking ability as he was able to take on just about everyone. So, thank you all for watching. This has been Monoxin. Hopefully it hasn't been a terrible first cast in a month. <laughs> but I hope you all enjoyed and look forward to more as uh, Smock has pulled me out, out of my MMO funk. And I will hopefully be able to... Uh, do some more casts for you all. Uh, we have another one lined up here pretty soon, but if you do have a nice cast that you would like for us, or a nice game that you would like for us to do that in involves professional tier players and some good plays, exciting, you know, something like this is fun. Uh, if you do have that, send that recommendation with the game ID match, or the match ID, to monoxin at gmail.com and we will see about looking at that and deciding if we want to go ahead and cover that match. So thank you all again for joining me. This has been Monoxin, and we will catch you next time.